Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Now, if you watch Good Morning Florida Keys, you know how much I love talking with artists in our community. We are blessed to have so much talent and creativity down here in the Keys. This morning, I'm going to showcase an organization here in the Keys that serves our community and artists from around the world. The studios of Key West is such an important part of our artistic and cultural identity. Erin, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Jenna. Could you give our viewers a little overview of the studios of Key West? Oh, certainly. Well, I just started there about a month ago, so okay. I've been really fortunate to come in during our high season. Mm -hmm. So I've seen a lot of things just put into play immediately, and I've gotten to see how many workshops and concerts and exhibitions we really do provide to the community, and it's such an amazing thing to be a part of. A lot of what we're doing down there, like I said, are just focusing on all the dis different aspects of the arts. We have musical performances, we have exhibitions, we have speakers coming in, we do workshops and classes and just sort of run the gamut of arts in the Keys. Wonderful. Let's talk about your schedule for this year. I am sure it's exciting, Erin. It, <laughs> it is very exciting and again it's so exciting to come into something like this when it's in full tilt and there's just so much going on. So just to hit on a few things, we do have a lot more going on, but just to hit on a few key things coming up. We have a couple more concerts that are coming up in the next few weeks, in the next month. We do one series called Old Town New Folk, and we just have Peter Mayer, Jonathan Edwards, fantastic, fantastic concerts, mm -hmm. and we have John Gorka coming up on February 8th. So we have another one coming up pretty quickly, and I think that's mm -hmm. going to be a great show too. We do another musical series, which is a cabaret series, and we have Libby York coming in on the 22nd. And she just came by yesterday to check out the space, and I'm getting very excited about that one, too. We're actually going to tie hers into our next exhibition, which is called French Connection, and it's going to feature local artist Paul Finley and then an artist in residence, and they're going to have photos and paintings of sort of Paris cafe culture, which I think will just be fantastic. Yeah. You you are have a very, very busy schedule up ahead. It is. is. It is. Now, <laughs> now how does it work with the studios of Key West? I mean, I know you do a lot with local artists, but then how do these artists from all over the world find out about you guys? Well, it, it's funny. We actually just this morning had a goodbye toast to last month's artists in residence, and we have a new group coming in this month. So I'm really getting to see how all of that comes together, but mm -hmm. it's just amazing. We have so many applications and people that find us from all over the world mm -hmm. and we select four or five artists each month mm -hmm. that come in and do these residencies and while they're there they're also just really engaged with with us and with mm -hmm. visitors we've had a woman this last month who is from Norway who is teaching an iPhone photography workshop and you know it sold out we added another one it sold out people just couldn't get enough so they're really engaging artists and we're just so lucky to have them. Now, why is it important for the artists in our community to get involved with the studios of Key West? I think it just sort of keeps it going. We are mm -hmm. a community organization, and I feel like we're trying to engage local artists, but like we were talking about, also these artists from out of state and mm -hmm. out of the country even mm -hmm. sometimes. But having that, that base, that good community, is what really keeps organizations like this thriving. Mm -hmm. And again, even in the short time that I've been there, I've seen what an impact the studios has in the community. Even on the plane down here for my interview, I remember sitting and talking to someone and saying I was gonna go check out the studios at Key West. And they're like, oh, that's just the most amazing place on the island. I don't know what we did before they came here. And mm -hmm. that's, that's how I feel. I feel like it's this really integral part of the community, but it's based on the community. It's, mm -hmm. it's artists and visitors and workshop participants that are putting all of their energy back into it. Absolutely. Erin, where did you come from? Uh, from Virginia. From Virginia. So mm -hmm. you came here for this job with yes. the studios yes. of Key West. Well, we're happy that you're here. I I'm think that's great. thrilled to be here. <laughs> now, are you an artist yourself? Do you paint? I am. Or I am. Anything? I'm a little rusty, but uh -huh. I'm, I do painting and drawing and mm -hmm. a little bit of photography. Okay. Now, workshops, like f if my if I'm interested, I'm, I'm not an artist. I'm Everybody's an artist. I don't believe that everybody's an artist. <laughs> I'm not very creative. <laughs> but if I'm interested in taking workshops, these are available to anyone, right? Absolutely. Okay. They are open to the public, and they just are a full spectrum of genres and approaches. We do painting, stained glass, 
fiber, everything you can imagine okay. as a workshop to fit. Good. And so all levels, too. All levels. Okay, so even beginners like me can join. Erin, <laughs> thank you for being here this thank morning. Thank you so with me. much. Really appreciate it. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but there's much more to come, so please don't go away.